Hi there. Now, in this part of the question, we're asked to use De Mars theorem to show that sine 5 theta is equal to 16 sine to the power 5 of theta minus 20 sine cubed theta plus 5 sine theta. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when you're done and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, to do this, what we need to know is De Mars theorem, which I've just summarized here, that if you've got cos n theta plus i sin n theta, it's identical to cos theta plus i sin theta, all to the power n. So, what I'm going to do is take this expression where n equals 5, so we can generate sine 5 theta. So we'll put down here cos of 5 theta plus i sine 5 theta. And so by de Marvel's theorem, this is going to be identical then to cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power 5. Now I'm going to write this as c plus is for short to the power 5, where c is equivalent to cos theta and s, well that's going to be equivalent to sine theta. Now we need to expand this by the binomial expansion and if we do that what we end up with is c to the power 5 and then we've got plus 5 lots of c to the power 4 multiplied by is. Then the next term is going to be plus 10 c cubed and then is all squared. Next term will be plus 10 c squared and then is all to the power 3. Then we get 5 c multiplied by is all to the power 4 and the last term is going to be plus is all to the power 5. Now because we're looking for sine 5 theta, which is the imaginary part of this identity, then what I'm going to do is compare the imaginary part. So we'll just put this down here. We'll say compare the imaginary part. So I'll just write that as im, okay? So where are we going to get imaginary parts from on the right hand side here? Well, this term here is going to be imaginary. This one won't be because we've got an i squared in it, so that's going to be real. It's going to give us negative 1 there. We're going to get an imaginary part from this one on the i cubed, and we'll get an imaginary part from this term here on the i to the power 5. So therefore, what we've got is that sine of 5 theta is going to be identical to, and notice I'm writing identical to rather than equals. I just feel it's better, OK? Then what we've got here for this term here, we're going to have 5c to the 4s, OK, as that particular one. So we've got 5c to the 4s. Now for this term here, it's going to be imaginary. We've got i cubed, which is going to be the same as minus i. So what we're going to get is minus 10 c squared s cubed. And for this last term here, i to the power 5 is going to be exactly the same as i. So we're just going to get i times s to the power 5. So if we're equating the imaginary parts, that's just going to be plus s to the power 5. Now we need to change this all in terms of sine theta. So we've got to get rid of these cosine bits here, OK? So we've got cos theta to the power 4. Well, this could be regarded as cos squared theta all squared, and cos squared theta is the same as 1 minus sine squared theta, so 1 minus s squared, and then 
it's going to be all squared. And we've got 5s being multiplied with that. For this one here, we've got minus 10s cubed, but we're multiplying it with cos squared, and cos squared theta is the same as 1 minus sine squared theta. So I'll just write that as 1 minus s squared. And for s to the power 5, well, that's already in terms of sine theta, so we'll just leave that as s to the power 5. So it's just a question of expanding this out. So we've got 5s here and 1 minus s squared when all squared is going to be 1 minus 2s squared plus s to the power 4. And then if we expand this bracket we get minus 10s cubed plus 10s to the power 5. And then we've got plus s to the power 5 here. Expanding again we've got 5s minus 10s cubed plus 5s to the power 5. And then we've got these terms here. So we've got minus 10s cubed plus 10s to the power 5 plus s to the power 5. And if we group up our terms and replace s with sine theta, then for s to the power 5, terms in it as sine to the power 5, we've got 5 here, we've got another 10 there, that's 15, and that one there makes us up to 16, so we've got 16 sine to the power 5 of theta. For sine cubed terms, we've got minus 10 here, minus another 10 there, so that's minus 20 sine cubed theta. And lastly, for sine theta terms, 5 sine theta there. Okay, so plus 5 sine theta. And that is what we had to show.